Hey everyone, if you've got one or two RAM sticks in your computer, you might be wondering whether you should run out and buy even more RAM sticks to, you know, load up your motherboard full of RAM. Like, can that be a really, really good thing? Or could that potentially be a flaw? Could it actually harm your computer's performance? Well, the short answer is that actually in some cases, having too much RAM can be a bad thing. Although in reality, most of the time, it doesn't make a massive real world difference. But I just wanted to discuss that in this video. So the first thing worth pointing out is that having two sticks of RAM is often the sweet spot. It's called a dual channel RAM and that can actually be the best way of running your RAM for various performance reasons. So if you're gaming, for example, having two sticks of RAM can actually be a really good thing. And actually, if you go out and buy two more RAM sticks to have four in total, you might not get any benefit or you might actually get a bit of a performance hit. So that is worth knowing. The next thing to know is that really high capacity RAM often runs slower than lower capacity RAM. So for example, if you have two sticks of 16 gigs of RAM, you can often get that at, you know, 6,000 megahertz or even 8,000 megahertz. But if you're actually wanting in like 196 gig for example you might find that you know that'll top out at like 5600 megahertz and obviously if you need that for like you know professional work video rendering and you know 3d modeling then you need it obviously you know ram quantity is more important than the ram speed in that sense but actually if you're just gaming and things then sometimes it's better to just have your 6000 megahertz or 8000 megahertz of ram that will probably be better for you than going out and buying more RAM that you don't need that then runs at a lower speed. The next point is that actually it's easy to overestimate how much RAM you need. For example, you might see people gaming and seeing that Hogwarts Legacy is taking 25 gigs of RAM. And you might be thinking, oh, well, in my computer build, I'm going to need 64 gigs of RAM. But actually RAM scales and it sort of prefetches things. So actually you could run Hogwarts Legacy with just eight gigabytes of RAM on your system. I've tested that, that will work. So you don't need to run out and buy 64 gigs because you've seen someone on YouTube, you know, actually game and use a lot of RAM because that's prefetched. It's not actually used RAM. And I would argue this better to actually have 16 to 32 gigs of RAM and then spend your money on something else like a faster CPU or a faster graphics card. So I'd stick with 32 gigs of RAM, assuming I'm using it for gaming. Then I'd upgrade my graphics card or something that's going to do me more good than actually having more RAM. It's also worth pointing out that your system will take a lot longer to load and potentially be less stable with loads and loads of RAM. This is something known as memory training. So basically the memory controller on boot up and in general has to make sure that the RAM is stable and everything will take longer and potentially be buggier if you've got too much RAM compared to again having that sweet spot of 16 to 32 gigs of RAM. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. If you've got any further questions or comments, please drop me a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button and please subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.